And EMG is actually short for electromyography. And actually the way we do it in most settings is there's two parts of the test. So the first part is something called an NCS or nerve conduction study. And the second part is the electromyography or the needle portion. And so EMG or nerve conduction study, because we do them both together, like I said, can be done for many reasons. So one is if you have neck pain or back pain, or maybe your MRI shows that you have some sort of issue with your disc, that's a good patient to get an EMG because we want to see, well, is the disc causing any damage to the nerve roots? And is that damage, well, how bad is that damage? The second is a patient that's maybe having numbness or tingling into their hands, into their fingertips, into their feet, into their toes, any sort of numbness and tingling. And we wanna see, well, is that numbness or tingling? Are you getting it because you have an issue in your neck or your back? Or maybe do you have something like carpal tunnel? Like people have heard of symptoms called carpal tunnel, cubital tunnel. Do you have something like that? Those are all answers we can give you if we do this test.